In February, on our way to visit relatives, my husband and I discovered a great area for wildlife viewing. An easy drive from Santa Cruz and the Bay Area, just beyond Los Banos off Highway 152, the San Luis National Wildlife Refuge Complex offers many wonderful opportunities for wildlife viewing, nature study, and photography. There are a number of sites within the complex, including the San Luis unit and the Merced unit, which are the two we've visited so far. Both of these sites have walking trails as well as auto tours, which allow visitors to have exciting close-up views of wildlife right from their car. Before we were even through the entrance to the Merced Refuge, we saw a flock of greater white-fronted geese foraging in nearby fields. Their name comes from the distinctive white band at the base of their bill. There are many small mammals, like this well-fed ground squirrel, wearing its lush winter coat. We saw small birds like this sparrow and large birds like this great blue heron. From the platform at the entrance, we watched sandhill cranes arrive in flocks. They're easily distinguished in flight from herons and egrets by their extended necks and distinctive rolling bugle. Herons and egrets pull in their necks during flight and usually travel alone. Gracefully soaring through the air on long wings, the cranes float effortlessly to the ground. Though they look similar to herons and egrets, we discovered that sandhill cranes are actually more closely related to coots. Sharing mowed cornfields with ground squirrels and various species of geese, they feed mainly on corn, rice, wheat, barley, and wild grains, as well as tubers, worms, insects, mice, amphibians, and small reptiles. Cranes mature between three and five years of age and mate for life. The refuge is also home to many species of hawk. The maneuverable hawks are well suited to hunting over cattails and marsh vegetation. We were only able to pay a short visit to the San Luis Refuge, but it was well worth it. Its unique alkali sink habitat provides food and shelter for a variety of small mammals, which attract predators like this pair of coyotes hunting for a midday meal. Using our car as a blind allowed us the rare opportunity to get close to a variety of wildlife, which would otherwise have been too shy to allow us to watch them. The noise of a small plane from a nearby airport did not distract this hungry hunter from its mission. Just a little further beyond the hunting coyotes were tundra swans, which overwinter at the San Luis Refuge from fall through spring. All along the auto tour at the Merced Refuge, we were able to see a number of great egrets.
It's worth a trip to the refuge just for the joy of catching a glimpse of their magnificent breeding plumage, which they sport from February to July. The great egret's combination of long yellow bill and black legs is unique among herons and egrets. Though we think of them as wading birds, they are actually partial to open habitats, like fields and pastures, where they eat gophers, frogs, and other small creatures, stalking their prey slowly and methodically with extreme patience. Snowy egrets, on the other hand, move briskly through the water, stirring up prey with their feet. Aside from their smaller size, they can also be distinguished from their larger cousin by their slender black bill and yellow feet. In breeding season, they are bedecked with beautiful graceful plumes on their head, neck, and back. At the edge of the water were red-winged blackbirds perched on cattails. Just beyond were shorebirds, like this greater yellow legs. and the lovely black-necked stilt wading gracefully on long pink legs through mirror still water. A large flock of American coots left the water to graze in the grass near the shoreline. On land, it's easy to see why they have received the nickname Mud Hen. Halfway along the auto tour at Merced is a small viewing platform and trailhead where we saw a well-fed cottontail nibbling on lush greens. It seemed fairly used to human visitors and allowed us to get quite close. Overhead, American white pelicans suddenly appeared.
Serenely soaring on black-tipped wings, they commune silently with one another, unlike the musical cranes and these noisy Ross's geese feeding excitedly in nearby pastures. As evening approached, the geese rose up in vast numbers, riotously honking as they headed to the safety of the ponds for the night. Their departure signaled the night's approach and the closing of the refuge until morning. To learn more about the San Luis National Wildlife Refuge Complex, phone 209-826-3508 or visit their website at fws.gov slash San Luis. For more information about Backyard Video Productions, or to obtain a DVD of this show, contact 831-338-2097 or fredwood at cruzio.com. <laughs>